The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. In the mid to late 30s, the great Rabbi Chanan Wasserman, the Rosh Hashiva Baranovich, Hashem Yimkom Domoi, he came for over a year to different places in America, and one of the places that he went to was Pittsburgh. My Zaydi Rabbi Yosef Shapiro, for many decades, was a rov in Pittsburgh. At that time, in the mid to late 30s, my father's Zatzal was a little boy of seven, eight. And when, of course, my father was already uh, grown up here, a rub in Miami, he would tell me this story. He would actually tell me many stories that he remembered about Rabbi Hanan and the visit to his parents, my Bobby and Zaydi. Many priceless, beyond priceless stories, but perhaps my favorite. On a Friday night that Rabbi Hanan was eating in the home of my Bobby and Zaydi, and as I mentioned to you, my father was a little boy. My Bobby had just served the fish. They had the kiddush, they had amaytze, they had the fish. And now she went into the kitchen. Friday night, Rabbi Hanan is in their home in Pittsburgh. And after the fish was served, or before the fish, but in the beginning of the Suda, my father, as a little boy, walked into the kitchen and he said to my bubby, his mother, Ma, why is there so much light in the dining room tonight? Tonight there's so much extra light. What, what, what is it? He wanted to know, was it a new chandelier, a new light bulb, a new fixture? As a little boy, that's quote, end quote, exactly what he asked my bubby, his mother, Ma, why is there so much light in the dining room tonight? That's when he noticed as a little boy. And of course she explained, because Rabbi Hanan is here, and the Orpanov, the light, the glow, the radiance from the face of Rabbi Hanan, that's what was bringing literally, in a physical sense, in a real physical sense, greater light into the dining room that Friday night that caused a little boy, that was my father's atzal, to ask his mother, why is there so much light tonight? It was so tangible, so real. The Orpanov, that's the Rashi that says when Moshe Ravina was born, Nismale Habayas Oira, the house was filled with light. When we look at our Gedolim, our Gedolim are the Ene Ha'eda. They are the eyes and the lights of the generation. Nismale Oira, filled with light, and we tap into that R to bring light into our own lives. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.